this beautiful morning to know my people, you are welcome to another episode of our CD Hot. Newspaper headline for today will be the first day in the month of April 2022. You are welcome to another new month. And we can start from the New Telegraph newspaper this morning. Grab a cup of tea, let me start. If you never subscribed to my channel, I get click on the subscribe button and press the notification bell so anytime I drop any new video, now you can be the first to like, to share and to subscribe. About 2023, Igbo leaders don't meet, then demand presidency as Southeast politicians to insist on power shift. About insecurity, direct IGP and COEs to deploy special forces to trouble local government in Kaduna, reps or the federal government. Why we no feel revive a job quota still this year by federal government and the talk say Nigeria will save $300 million yearly with self-sufficiency in part. World Cup qualifier, federal government sets up audit committee on vandalized stadium. Moving on straight to the Daily Independence newspaper this morning, my people. Daily Independence talk say Ajaukuta would be ready before the end of Buhari tenure and federal government talk on. The talk say Ukrainian will cost Russia $22 billion Ajaukuta steel renovation deal. Telcos may disrupt services after seven day ultimatum over site closure. NNPC don't uncover cyber threat to window platform and routers. Sultan to Muslim, look out for the Ramadan moon today. Hetman don't invade ben 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 Benway community, they kill two and displace thousands. Bonds in the South local government secretariat, and Anambra would bow to criminals. Also, AON threatened to sue federal government over multiple entries for foreign airlines. An economy reinflated through BOI. 1 trillion naira to 4.2 million subs uh, uh, beneficiaries now buhari na intoka moving on straight to the nation newspaper this morning my people the nation newspaper put for your big headline say fear mount over the 136 people on attacked abuja kaduna train and now the talk say they can't be contacted and terrorists phone five hostage families angry rep don't pass vote of no confidence in security chiefs Government don't abduct custom official, nine others in Kaduna State. And 300 days rainfall to pound Nigeria this year. 20 council, don't they on notice. Oyetola of Great College of Education, Elisha to University. And ex NMPC GMD, Yakubu cleared of laundering $9.8 million. Data rates and call rates to go up. Broadcast banks station cut operation time. Out to a $23 billion US consular in Lagos relieved Nigerians. Moving on straight to the leadership Friday this morning. I talk about the 2023 presidency. Northern PDP aspirants intensify plan to produce next president. Now for which four of leadership newspaper now can find that information this morning. Reps are John plenary over incident killings and federal government don't talk say we know if we complete a Jakuta plant before leaving in 2023. They blame failure on Russia-Ukraine crisis. Also, a late $9.8 million fraud caught freeze ex-NMPC GDM Yakubu. PMB bags road builder award for infrastructure and troop kills 34 terrorists. 45 others die in Boko Haram to I swap clash. You can go find my information for the leadership newspaper this Friday. Moving on straight to the last newspaper for today, now the National Economy newspaper. Telecom operators don't issue seven days ultimatum to federal government over cellular site seizure. And avocado cargo clearance, Togo, Ghana outperform Nigeria by 40% in one year. The talks in Lagos and other ports rank low in efficiency and competitiveness. Buhari don't lord BOI for creating 9 million jobs. Federal government don't talk say no completion of a Jakuta steel plant before 2023. And United States to spend $537 million on new consular building in Lagos State. Now, which I get for now, the hottest fire life for today will be the first day in the month of April 2022. Be that. Till I see you tomorrow, and sure say you day safe, and sure say you day good, and put a smile on somebody's face. And as I always say on this channel, God bless Nigeria.